back to a new episode with Kai Free model series and today's model is Kaituru Blades and all the thanks for Kiri with this great idea and before we start if you wanna download the blades for free just join our Divisa modeling discord server and you will find all the series models so feel free to download and use them in your project the discord invite link will be in the bio Okay, let's find a match. I was <laughs> just kidding. Okay, we will start with adding a cylinder with an 8 vertices to make the handle shape. And then we'll add the two little balls. I don't know about yours. Okay, my bad. So let's add a mirror modifier to the ball. Oh wait, you don't know it? It's the main reason of my channel logo. Anyway, after selecting the two faces, extrude them to make the blade shape. Then we'll add the masterpiece, a subdivision modifier. And here with a couple of loop cuts and the right positions, we will start to feel it. What? Then we'll adding two loop cuts in the middle of the blade to be the dividing line between the upper side and the sharp one in the button. You know, because if you wanna hit someone After we finish, I'll duplicate everything and hide them Then we will apply all the modifiers because we will add a boolean modifier Look at the onion choice Which will join the blade and the balls together with the perfect cut Then we'll move on to the sculpting part And first thing we gonna do is remesh it With high number of balls Otherwise you can't really sculpt And the next step, unhide the duplicated one And then we will set a matcap color to random so that we can know which one is one and don't forget to use a mirror modifier with the right axis like with this situation I used the X axis because that will save so much time and starting to get the shape first then we will dive to the details After we scalped the random lines, I moved on to the smaller details, the noisy look material, and I used for that the clay and the clay strips brushes. And don't forget to use the dying tubo. The dying tubo is a choice that will allow to add more vertices while sculpting, and you can adjust the detail size. I usually use 8 or 6. Also, more you get close to the model, more details you will get. And finally, the material part. First, I made a metallic red material. Then after a deep focus on the blade, it's kinda look emission, which means the light comes out from the material, like a sun. And yup, that looks better. Then I assigned the emission material to the sharp bar, and the metal material to the other side. And then I moved on to this weird looks material. Is that a meat or what? Anyway, I used the material makeup, I mean the shading, and I start with adding noise textures. And then Ctrl T while selecting it to get these two nodes. By the way, you have to apply the node wrangler add one in order to use the shortcut. Okay, moving on to add a color ramp that will divide the noise into two colors. I turn the white color to the same red color I used before, and the dark one also to the same red color, but this time darker a little bit. Then I adjust the noise texture scale to 1.2 and we finish. Oh, 
Okay, so if you liked the video, don't forget to give me a like. And if you're new here, you can subscribe. It's free by the way. And you will help me a lot. And yeah, if you want the free download link, welcome to our DVs and modeling Discord server. And download all the series models. And feel free to use them in your projects. And see you in the next week. That's it guys. Jana.